vegetable. Hello there, and welcome to episode 172 of my series, where I try to play the towns, cities, and urban areas of Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, to achieve a score of 25,000 points for each GeoGuessr map I play. Today, we have made it to the opposite end of the country from yesterday. We're going through the south coast, and we're going to the north, and we're going to the city of Tromsø, which lies up here. Tromsø is the largest city in um, nor northern Norway, i.e. the bit starting here and going up all the way up here. And uh, has the city itself has about 44,000 people. If you count the suburbs, we are nudging the six, mid-60,000s. And um, it has been a hub for activity at least for the past 1,000 years. Um, well, although there have been people living in the area, they found traces dating 11,000 years back, so it's not a young place. But in terms of uh, it, in terms of Nor Norwegian settlement, it was um, this sort of area here was considered the divide between the Norse settlement and and the Samis back until about 1000 AD. Then they established. Trumse as I guess a trade post um, in the 11-1200s and um, then for several several centuries the trade in northern Norway uh, was uh, monopolized from Bergen so you could actually not open a trading post up here unless you were affiliated with with Bergen and so there were no towns or cities made in northern Norway until 1789 when the Bergen monopoly was uh, abolished and so they made three towns in northern Norway they made Vardø, uh, Hammerfest uh, and then they were debating whether they should put a city here at Jibusta or on um, this island here called Kjetta but instead they ended up making a city here instead which probably turned out all for the better. So particularly Kjøtta, where I don't think there are anyone living there. That said, Tromsø took a long time to start growing. It didn't really come into its own until the early 1900s, although in the 1840s it was dubbed the Paris of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Norway, or the North, because the, the ladies here were dressed in all the latest fashion out of Paris. And that had to do with Tromsø, after becoming a well a town in its own right, became the hub of commerce with fishing, sealing, whaling, whatever it was con connected to the oceans. And a lot of money was channeled into this particular town. So even though there were only 1,300 people living there at the time, um, there was quite a huge flow of money going through here. And uh, people could just order stuff from Paris directly instead of having to uh, get it from Oslo or Trondheim or whatever. So it was quite an affluent city. So today it is very much the commercial hub of um, northern Norway, or the northern part of northern Norway. And um, it's quite a vibrant city, a lot of tourism, administration, commerce, you name it. I'm starting to think that Kederli must have been playing pretty much every map I've made. Uh, so 12 minutes 44. I did beat his time in Arndal yesterday, but this one could be tough to beat. I'm not going to beat Bjorn, that's for sure. So let's have a look. This should be pretty much an all urban playthrough because pretty much the entire island is urbanized. Oh, okay, the Polar Museum. I've been here. So I know fairly well where we are. We are smack downtown. This is the bridge across the mainland. Um, uh, this must be a hotel or something. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It's like one of those things that look like it's coming apart from a distance, and when you look closer, you see that it's actually built so by design. Now, let's see. Um, so the Arctic Museum is, uh, let's see. Well, knowing where we are and finding it, oh, that's too slight. No, that's a tunnel. Here we are. Here's the Polar Museum. Mm -hmm. And that's the bust of the Royal Amundsen, the Polar Explorer. And. But then, is that in this parking lot here? We should be there. Which we were. Full sight, always nice. Residential area. Um. <laughs> okay, so we're looking north, and so it looks like looks like we're on the western side of the island. So we could either be up here, or here, or even down there. Looks like this road is coming to an end that way. So let's go this way. Right. So we must be at the very southern tip of the island. It must be down here somewhere. The thing with at least the Google images of a lot of Northern Norway tends to be short on street names, but okay, and we got we're on the North Pole Road, Kvelstua Road. So that could either, either mean Evening Hill or Evening Lodge. So North Pole Road. We got to be down here somewhere. South Pole, North Pole Road. Right. Is Kvelstuvegen. Kvelstuvegen, as it says here. So let's see. Um... So we come up here, this is the Hopen Road, named for an island up, up by Svalbard, or Spitsbergen. And this is the Svalbard Road. And the road going off to the side here must be this pathway. And then we have a Röstbakken, which is this thing. Röstbakken. Okay, so how far up this road were we? That's the next question. So we have a garage building there. And a tiny building. So I'm wondering if we're here. Turn around. I see two garages, yes. I'm looking just at the north edge of that one, and that is a pretty good placement. Cool. Another bit of residential area, but this time we're on the east side of the island. And let's see, what time of day is it? Okay, someone has been shooting this in... This must have been shot in... June or July, because the sun is over there, and we're in the northern hemisphere, not the southern one, and you can see the location of the sun, so this has been taken around midnight, just before midnight, so, I'm tempted to say we're in July or August. Skagesundvegen. Okay, I have no idea where that is, but at least that road is called that both ways. Let's sit down and see what this road going the opposite way is called. It is called something, something, something. Yeah, that's a bummer. Okay, well, it's a bus stop with a with a name on it, actually. 
but it seems to have been vandalized to the point where it can't reach it. Possibly it says lung something. But we got a crossroads over here. Right, so it's crossroads with the is it the 862? Yes. Okay, to the hospital and to the university, and we're moving north, northeast. So the uni that's the university hospital, and we'll leave the university is. Um, well, it's all up here. <laughs> um, but this is a bridge. What's the name of these businesses here? Bosch Service. I don't think that's the name of the thing. Nord Diesel Car Repair Shop. Tromsø Sea Center. And the co Agricultural Co op Store. What's that? Car materials. Hmm. So we are up somewhere. Let's see. Could we be? Yes. Here we are. So here's that bridge going across over there. Here comes the roundabout. Here's the peel uh, material. Is here. So we came down from Skagis in the road. Let's see how many houses do we have to go past to get to that then. Let's see, this yellow one is one, two, three, a bit of a gap, four, five, six, counter garage, uh, no. This is going to be a little tricky, isn't it? Maybe I should count away to the bend instead. Yeah, that seems to make a lot more sense. Let's see. And I think... I think we're here. Let's see. House in the garage. Another house with a little extension there. And we got the bend with the house on it, yes. That was a lot simpler. And uh, perpendicular to the road, we are just about here. Cool. Round number four. And we're on a main road. That could be a major pain, but if that thing is put on the map, we could be saved even so. Okay, on northeast, we have... Um, yeah, well, it looks like we're on the top of the island, but to the west. Hope, the Hope. That is a district in town, is this one. So probably on the E8. Could be there. That fits with that bend over there. Now we have this bridge here. Let's head back there. Please. Okay, this is a little lackadaisical, but I am fairly convinced this is where we are. Except we're on the other side of the road. The only thing is how my reckoning skills are working. There are a few weaknesses in this theory, but I think I'm good. Yes, I am. Final round. End of the road. Almost. That's the almost bit I don't like. Okay, so now we're looking southwest, and that is to the Kval Eysen Bridge. We'll look into that one. And we must be on the 
almost on the very northernmost tip of the island. Let's see if we can, so we can see the bridge. Let's have a further look. So we've got this peninsula looking out, so we must be here both. <laughs> okay. Now we're above the roads. And what is this thing? Huh. Okay, so we're up in the hillsides. Somewhere. We could be like up here. But we're not. Now this one is going to be an interesting one. Oh, that was a lot shorter than I reckoned. So which road is this then? Hmm. Well, a bomb just means barrier. So you can't go any further along that road. So... We are. We're not here. I would very much like to have the name of a road here. You can see this road has gone very straight. Actually, we could have been there but because we did have that bit of semi-detached de uh, semi houses going that, that, way, that way. Let's see, and then we have this. Okay, so that's what it was. It's a huge processing plant. Yeah, well, yeah. What? There's a few things that don't quite add up here. Wait a minute. That thing is this one. So they've definitely developed this area a bit further since this was made. It should be about there. Because all these buildings don't exist. Right, that was Tromsø in 30 minutes. But it's such a large place, we want we want to have a proper look, don't we? One time. Hogby Vein. Garden Town Road. Oh, town Gardens Road. What's this then? Sommerfeld Street. I have no idea who Sommerfeld was. So this, what direction are we looking? Look at south. And we're on the eastern part of the island. And that <coughs> is the bridge across to the mainland. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're quite a bit north of that. Erector Horst Street. Principal Horst. Hmm, yeah, I got a bit of an itchy throat, so I have to cough every now and then. So I hope you'll bear over with me. Hans Jorneskata. Okay. And that is the main strip up this road. <coughs> mm. Let's see. Hans Jorneskata. So we're sort of roughly in the same area that we were earlier. But not quite. Unless I'm reading... This road has gone almost westwards. I 
How's that work? Yeah, how does that work indeed? So if that is the bridge to the mainland, which it is, where the heck am I? Okay, so here's a roundabout leading into one of the tunnels. Don't tell me we're coming up on the up. No, we're not coming up on the opposite end of that roundabout. Or it can't be. Hmm. So here's the bridge. Here we are. I'll see you next. Got direct to Host Street. The dual Almerson Street, but where's the um, Sommerfeld Hageby van? Now let's see. So Hageby van goes over there. I'm going to just slightly into Johan Jensen's road. Right? Right. Okay, that was a little cumbersome. East side of the island yet again, and this is the hospital, I believe. Dramswegen. No, these are student dorms. But yeah, all of this stuff is... Hmm. Let's see, there are dorms here. Probably dorms as well, maybe. No, I don't know where I am, so... I just know that the name of the road is the Domswegen. And here the road splits. Oh my god. Bray von Grün Olsen Church. That ought to be a help. And then there's a big hall of some sort here. What's that? Tromsebaden, Tromse Hall, Turnhall. Okay, so there's gymnastics and skiing and whatnot going up up here. So that hall should be possible to find. Let's see, Grün Olsen. Here's Grunnelsen Church, here's the drums road, here we go. Okay, so it's the ice hockey hall. And... Did I see Breivangwegen, or did I? Didn't I? <clears throat> yeah, right now we're standing here. Yeah. And... Now, we are here. And then we head on down this road. Which is this one. Hmm. There are houses lining the side of this road. And then we have buildings, and, and this road going off to the side here might be a temporary one, it's not showing here. Where's the bus stop? Mm. I have a feeling that bit there is this. And if that is the case... Yeah, here comes the Breivang Road. 
Okay, so the road is here, so this is the Smirboglia road. That could well be this thing. But that means... If this is right, we're looking at this thing. Looking west, oh, why oh yeah, there, there we go. Looking just south of that thing. Okay, look at east, we're looking a little bit south of the middle of the house. It should be there. That was slightly tricky. Okay. This must be in the northern parts of town. That's the hospital. And here it says Breivika Harbor. Okay, that's down here. But we are not Let's see, we are here, aren't we? That's a circle cave, yep. So, mm -hmm. this could actually be missable. Okay, so we made it past this little bend a bit here. So, we're roughly there. I don't really have any good landmarks to <coughs> excuse me to work on here. I do have the circle K but I don't think that gives me any clear shot, so let's go with that. <laughs> a big nasty miss there. But, uh, well not a miss, but very close to being nice to miss. Okay, so that is over in Tromstal, which is the mainland side. And, <coughs> excuse me again, that is the bridge here coming across. And that's what they call the Arctic Ocean Cathedral. Or the Ice Ocean Cathedral, which is over there. And as it so happens, It's a little too far for me to use it as a guide, but this smells of hotels. Scandic Ice uh, Ocean Hotel. So that is here. And we have this red building, which is this one. It would be one. Okay. And we are looking between the next two buildings. So this is what back no. That's not back street, is it? The troll museum. Uh, something does not quite compute here. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah. There we go. Well that's that building. We are standing between the next two buildings. We're standing here. Yep. And the final round takes us back to another residential area again, and we're still on the east side. That's a pretty big building. And if roads have a name, well, that would have been absolutely brilliant. This one does seem to have one. Something Ingebrigtsen's road. Aldur Ingebrigtsen. No idea who that might have been. But I guess he was a local. Okay. Can we see any side of the and a hint of the bridges? Or a street name, Helsenord. Okay, so this is the Public Health Service Office of the region. 
Now, are we north? Us? What did it say on that bus stop? It said... Damn it. Okay. Nope. No idea. That's a big error spot. Still no hint of any bridge. So I don't know if I'm north or south of the bridges. When I said bridges in plural, I was also thinking about the bridge on the other side of the island, which of course I can't see. Hmm. And another thing I can't see is street signs. That was something. Stockevolvein. Stockevolve is up here. So let's see. I'll need to keep an eye out for several things at once. Um, okay, so Stockival ends there. There's a funeral agents. Bjorn Start. Try to civil defense forces. Terminal Street. Dahl Brothers. Which way is this thing heading, by the way? Almost due north, okay. There's no end of stuff going on in this region, but figuring where we are, that is a real head scratcher. So come around the bend down there. I'm still now closer to finding that road with the name of the bloke, Mr. Ingebrigtsen. Okay, um, let's see, another funeral agent over here, Pjernstrand, name of this stop then. Trophy. Nope. That's a football pitch of some sort. Hmm. What's Trophy Techno Park? And no fee. No fan trophy. Can we find either? You probably spotted it already, and I am just. <laughs> oh man, I am so lost right now. I just need the name of one side street, please. In terms of fishing industries. I'm still heading northeast. I don't get this at all. Mar Maritime Center, please. I can't even find this extra. That is coming up the road. Hmm. 
And I can't see any out of feudal agents either. Um, here's the extra. Duh. I thought that stuck a Volve in this one. I did not think that continued past the E8, but it does. Right. Here's Aldor Ingebrigtsen's road. And... I would assume we came down this road here. But that was just an absolute sensational waste of time. Um, hmm. yeah, it looks about right. How much trouble is that thing with that? And that's so new. And then we got the quick thing. Yeah, that's the quick thing. So this big one here has been extended or rebuilt with this black boxy thing. So yeah, that took a long, 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 long time, but we are here. There we go. Right. So those two rounds turned out fairly similar. Like four quick ones and one long one. So yeah. That is episode 172, and Trumse done. Please check in tomorrow for episode 173. Until then, bye-bye.